this video I'll be building Bikini Bottom for my cats. Niffledorf invited me over. A couple months ago, I built the Krusty Krab. My cats liked it so much that I decided to build them SpongeBob's house. I built both of them from scratch out of cardboard since cats are typically supposed to love boxes. My cats aren't usually too crazy about normal boxes. They might sit in them once or twice and then move on, but for whatever reason, they're obsessed with the Krusty Krab and SpongeBob's house. The Krusty Krab's really starting to fall apart now. They've been enjoying it a little too much. Yeah! They really seem to appreciate Bikini Bottom's architecture, so I decided it would only be fair to build the rest of Bikini Bottom for my cats. I picked up some more boxes for Squidward's house. There are a couple different sizes. Some small, some medium. I'm gonna try to recreate that Easter Island head look that Squidward's house has. While I am making Squidward's house out of boxes, I've got different plans for Patrick's house. But we'll get to that. There's a lot to do and not enough time in the week, so I've gotta get started. It might be hard to tell, but I'm taping up the box. This is gonna be the base structure. Most of you guys know that I live in a pretty tiny apartment, so filming these bigger projects is kind of a challenge. I'm trying my best. I hope you can appreciate that. Please come and do it for me. I need someone to do it for me. Do you want me to help you? I want you to do it for me. Kill me. It probably doesn't need this much tape, but better safe than sorry. We're off to a good start. <laughs> That's my geometric recreation of Squidward's house with boxes. <laughs> I'm just getting started. I'm gonna join these boxes together in holy matrimony. <laughs> There's like a big gap between the two boxes. I tried addressing that with my old faithful Fabrica glue. I thought if I just stuffed enough Fabrica glue in there, then maybe I could seal up the gap. But turns out this is a bigger problem than Fabrica glue can handle. That's not true. That's impossible. 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 Darkness, my old friend. I've got my box cutter on hand. I'm making some cardboard cutouts to help transform these boxes into looking more like Squidward's house. They like their, you know, fancy cats. They like architecture. Yeah, they like, they like to appreciate architecture. Squidward's house has got some distinct features. Some ears, a nose, even an eyebrow. I think it's supposed to be kind of like Squidward's face, but in house form. At least that's kind of what I've always thought. I added some pieces to make some of the features 3D. That way they'll hopefully pop a bit more once I add them to the house. Before I can add those on though, I'm gessoing the base structure. When I made the Krusty Krab in SpongeBob's house, I used very tiny brushes. You guys recommended I use a bigger brush, so here I am. Wow, 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 look at that. That was a lot faster. <laughs> Good for you. Why didn't you use a big paintbrush in the first place? I don't know. I thought that paintbrush was big. <laughs> I honestly don't think I could ever go back to using my tiny brushes after this. From now on, I only paint with giant paintbrushes. Things are definitely moving a bit quicker this time around, so thank you for that recommendation. I have no idea why I was using smaller paintbrushes before. I have many regrets. Do you want me to show your face? Sure, if I don't look dumb. I feel like I'm like a brute working with this paintbrush. Just get it done. Just get it done. I like this paintbrush. Let's just get it done. Job's done. Don't get my feet. Are my feet in it? No. no. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with your feet? I think people just always comment about my feet. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Always trust the process. Oh, uh. <laughs> Aww, look how cute. Sniffledorf just sits outside and Tootsie hogs the whole thing. Oh, poor thing. Poor Sniffledorf. Come on, Tootsie. Tootsie, get out! Get out! Oh, wow. Can you see that? Look at that. He just did a big jump. He's a little, a little cautious of going on top of Squidward's house. 
I don't blame him. Since Tootsie won't let Sniffledorf into Squidward's house, I've decided to make a second entrance on the back. Tootsie can't possibly guard both entrances. I also added in a secret upper chamber in the back in case Sniffledorf wants to hide from Tootsie. <laughs> Oh. What? what? Just a little wonky on top. Oh. Well, no one's gonna see what the f Wow. I thought it would cave in under his weight. <laughs> You're a big boy. You're a big boy. Alright. Time to go, Siffledore. Time to go. We don't got all day. Come on, Siffledore. I like it up here. <laughs> I think I'll lay down. I think I'll just stay here for the rest of the day. Oh, nice. Wow, it actually is working. That's a first. That's a nice Squidward color. You're very good at picking the color. I am, aren't I? It's one of my many talents. Time's really flying with this paintbrush. I wish I would have used it sooner. Thanks for recommending it. Better late than never. Squidward's house is not a solid color. It's made of like rock or stone or something, so it has a lot of texture going on. I didn't want to go overboard with the texture, so instead I just added accents of it on the nose and the eyebrow. Really make those features pop. There's really no method to my madness. First I brush on a ton of light blue, and then when I realized I've gone too far, I cover up most of it with the original dark blue color. My way of toning things down a bit. Oh, to me too crazy. Just a little bit. Squidward's house is coming along nicely, but I'm taking things to the next level this week. I'm making two houses. I have to complete the iconic Bikini Bottom trio, so now I'm making Patrick's house. You'd think Patrick's house would be easy to make. It's just a brown rock. I could have just gotten a rock from outside, but no. My grand idea is balloons. Oh my god! These are the giant two-foot balloons. You gotta be kidding me. Sniffledorf is apparently petrified of this balloon. He tends to be a scaredy cat with anything new, and he's really just not into this balloon. It's gonna be okay, Sniffledorf. Oh, come here, Sniffledorf. I've got a present for you. I mixed up a delectable concoction of glue and water. Mmm, so good! If you haven't guessed already, we're doing some paper mache today. I haven't paper macheed anything since like second grade, so it's been a hot minute. I didn't know how to keep the balloon in place, so I'm using some paint bottles for now. From what I remember about paper mache, it goes something like this. <coughs> Normally you would use newspaper, but I don't know where to get my hands on some newspaper nowadays, so I'm resorting to computer paper. Paper mache is a very sticky situation. Things got messy along the way. Plus the balloon kept wanting to roll around. I I kept adding more paint bottles to keep things stable. Eventually I resorted to using this like pink wooden box thing. I originally thought it wouldn't take me too long to paper mache. I thought it would be very quick and easy, but I thought wrong. It took a couple hours and then I'm gonna let it dry overnight. What are you doing? Thumbs up. That's not a thumbs up, it'd be like, oh. The next day. Here's how things are looking the next day. Everything's nice and dry, but it still doesn't look like Patrick's house. It's gonna need a bit more work. And by a bit more work, I mean a heaping teaspoon of brown paint. To make this look more like a rock, I'm painting it a nice diarrhea brown. The next day. That was very anticlimactic. It wasn't even very loud. Yeah, what the heck was that? I don't know how long Patrick's house will last. My guess is once one of them tries to jump on top of it, it won't last very long. Tootsie!